Welcome back to Grow New Plants. So it's finally almost spring. It's the 9th of March. It's a little early for me to start planting my seeds uh, for trees and shrubs and stuff, but I have an issue. I went and checked my seeds the other day in the refrigerator and these live oak seeds are already starting to sprout even in the refrigerator. So I figure I better go ahead and get those in the ground before they get too long of roots going. So I'm gonna get reset up and then we'll get started planting these. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go through, I may not plant all of these seeds. Probably what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna separate all of the ones you see right here. That's some of these that already got the roots coming out on them. So all of these that are starting to bust open already, I'm gonna plant. The ones that are not, I'm gonna wait. I may plant a few of these, that's probably a, I don't know about that seed, that's probably a bad seed, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So it looks like all of these are either opened, most of them, I say there's, I say all, there's a few that haven't. That one's starting to open, that one's starting to open, that's a bad seed, I'm getting rid of that. Throw that out for the squirrels. So all these other seeds, all these here, which got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. about 28 seeds there. So I'm gonna sit these to the side. I'll put these back in my baggie and then I'm gonna go through the other bag and I'm gonna get all the seeds that are starting to root out. So I'll fast forward through that. I'm gonna separate all these seeds that are starting to already put roots out. So I've got my 32 cell root maker trays and I've got my soil mix and my soil mix is basically, uh, it is 50% peat moss, 50% perlite, and then with a slow release fertilizer mixed into it. So I'm gonna fill up all these trays here. And what I'm gonna do, the way I like to do this, I'll fill them up very loosely, okay? Cause I want a little bit of space in the top to put my seeds in. So I'll fill these in very loosely, not packing them in at all. And then I'll just kind of take them and tap them down a little bit and that'll settle that dirt in a little bit. And then that'll give me room to lay my seeds in. And then I'll come back and put another thin coat of soil over the top of them to cover the seeds up. One, to protect the seeds from moisture, you know, from drying out too much. And then hopefully keep the squirrels from finding them too. You know, if you watch my videos from last year, I had lots of problems with squirrels. So I'll have the greenhouse finished put together here pretty soon. I'm close. I just got to get the plastic on it. So I'm hoping that'll help with my squirrel problem some in the early spring. So I'll just take these things. Well, they didn't really settle that much, did they? But that'll be all right. It's still soft enough. I can push that dirt down in there. So I've got enough, I know, to fill one tray and then probably part of another tray. And then I'll go ahead and put some of those other seeds that haven't shown any signs of... Uh, coming out yet. I don't know what to do with these. I'll just sit them right here for now while I'm planting them. So some of these seeds, I'm going to look at these seeds, okay? So this one right here, the, the root really hasn't picked a direction to grow yet. So I'm just going to take it and just put it in there sideways. I'm going to leave those uncovered till I get them all in. I'm gonna find one. Here's one that's already, see that one right there? The problem with letting these things root out first is if you put that in, that root's one to go down that way. If I plant it with that root up, that root's gonna kink and it's not gonna make a very healthy tree. So what I'm gonna do, especially as short as that is, I'll just make sure that I plant, if that root has already picked a direction to grow, that's the way it's gonna to wanna to grow. So I'm gonna just lay it in that way. Some of these haven't really picked a direction yet. So those I can just lay in there however I want to, so. I tell you what I'll do. I'll fast forward through all this. See, there's another one that's picked a picked a direction. So I want to go down with that one. So I'll go through and I'll get all these things in the dirt, and we'll come back and kind of talk about what we're going to have afterwards.
Okay, so I've got 64 of these planted, and I'd say this full tray and about this many of them had roots already starting to come out or they was, the seeds were starting to crack open already. These other ones just looked like good healthy seeds that hadn't really started to open yet. And then I've got probably, I don't know, maybe another 50 seeds. So probably what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick the best, the next best 32 out of these and plant one more tray. So I'll have three trays of 32 of these. So I'll have 96 trees planted. That'll be plenty for these. I got a lot of different trees I'm gonna plant this year. So that'll be plenty. So the last thing I wanna do with this is I'm just gonna come back across and just add a little more soil back across the top. And that will essentially bury all those seeds. Seeds, acorns, whatever you wanna call them. So I'll just put another light coating right across the top. And then I'm gonna give them a good watering. And then I'm just gonna put them out on my plant tables. These will still be outside. Uh, I'm in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. So North Texas. So hopefully these, uh, I think we're hopefully past any danger of a freeze again. Yeah, but these things really wanna get warm soil temperatures. All these, the live oaks will germinate obviously in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these other ones and then I'm gonna water these in. And then hopefully within a month or so, we'll have some trees coming up and I'll do a follow-up video on them then. And then there was a video that I posted last fall showing these things, uh, how I collected these, uh, basically out of a parking lot where I was getting good viable seeds. And obviously I did, you saw all these that are already trying to germinate. The year before I got hardly any live oaks to come up, but I collected all my seeds off the ground and I think they were already, already had uh, the worms and stuff in them and they've already been eaten up. So I think these are gonna be good. So we'll come back in about a month or so and see if we got some trees coming up. I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.